How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode five of the Kansas City Royals franchise. And if you guys enjoyed today's video and you're hyped and you want to see more of this series, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, give me some give me some feedback. What do you guys want to see? How many times do you want to see this franchise a week? Just give me some give me some something to read in the comment section. So, with that being said, in the last video we talked about Brett Phillips and we said, should we bring him in the majors? Should we leave him in the minors? And when I looked at the poll, it was actually really close. Um, so what I'm thinking is, unless one of our players hits like a massive slump. Let's leave Brett Phillips in the minors. Let's let him develop a little bit. Um, and then maybe if we make a trade where we trade one of our outfielders or if we or even if we have a slump like one of our outfielders like Solaire's kind of in a, a little bit of a funk. He's hitting 200. Um, Billy Hamilton 265 is a little bit a little bit better. Um, but 235, 248. So if I see like an outfielder start to decrease under 200, maybe then we start to bring Brett Phillips up. And get him involved in the team. So there's that for that poll from last episode. For today's poll, what we're going to do is we're going to use YouTube's poll system. So in the top right hand corner, there's that little eye icon. Click it. There's going to be a poll for you guys. So what I want to talk about is, would you guys like to see like a minor league episode? Where we kind of go into maybe a triple A game or a double A game. And we see, you know, which players do well which players don't do well maybe someone that's on the rise maybe someone that's on the decline just so that we can kind of get a feel of what our prospects are doing how they like like just to kind of see how they play in game so let me know what you guys think yes do a minor league episode no don't do a minor league episode and then in the comment section let me know why you guys don't want to do one or why you do want to do one what would if we did do one what would you like to see would you like to see a triple a game or a double a game so let me know in that poll so there's that let's talk about today's episode it's been two minutes already let's talk about it so in it, the last episode um i forgot to scout off camera so i missed basically half of the month of may and we are four days out from the draft so i'm missing a few weeks of scouting so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna kind of do a little bit of off camera scouting a little bit see if i can pick out some players that I like the looks of and then once we get into the draft hopefully things go well um, and then I'm thinking today we play Toronto you know we take on Vlad Jr. see how things go so I'll see you guys once we get into the draft alrighty so we do have the second pick and the first pick was Sherwood Schroeder we had him fully scouted um, and I actually wasn't interested in him so that actually worked out quite well so let's see who we're gonna go with with the second pick Alrighty, so I'm looking at a couple different players, and the thing is, we kind of need prospects all over the place, so it's it wouldn't hurt if we took one of these closers, because we don't really have a closer for the future, so Escalona looks decent, along with um, Rosas a little bit, but uh, I think it's Fernandez, Fernandez looks kind of good as well, when I look at starting pitchers though, um, Guzman doesn't look too bad already, and uh, Harvey Root a little bit less. Um, and then we also have Villarreal who looks okay. His home run per nines are a little low though. Um, the player that I'm going to go with though is Benny Abe. You know, I know we don't need a second baseman just yet. But I think his stats look really good already. He's, uh, his e e oh my gosh, his ETA is 2020. So he's right around the corner of being MLB ready. So I think this is a good pickup for us. You know, it's, it's another infielder we can kind of maybe slowly introduce into the squad and i think it's a good pickup for us all right we're gonna go paul lawrence with our second pick i did say we were you know we we kind of do need to bring in as many players as possible so hopefully he works out we do get a competitive balance pick as well i think we're out of fully scouted players to be honest even if his potential is 75 he looks pretty good and f you know what we're gonna take another uh relief pitcher Alrighty, I'm looking at a couple different pitchers here. Fernando Francisco looks decent. Um, to be honest, this center fielder doesn't look too bad either. But the other pitcher I was looking at was William Cabrera. His per nines are a little low now, um, but his stats look kind of pretty pretty decent actually. Um, Patrick Holloway is another player I'm kind of interested in. Uh, we're kind of we're kind of guessing at this point. There's a couple very very tempting players you like Rolando Reyes looks decent um 
I don't know if we really need the outfield prospects. His fielding's a little off-putting, um, and that's why I'm kind of leaning towards Mackenzie Atkinson if we were to go for a, a fielder. Um, but it, So I'm going to have to think about this one for a second. A name that kind of popped up, and it looks really good, Walter Nakajima. His per nines are already kind of high. Well, I'm going to take a chance on another relief pitcher. Alrighty, because I feel like we do need to kind of invest in a couple more starting pitchers. We're going to go Patrick Holloway here. Um, this this draft is either going to go very, very well or very, very poorly. So we're going to we're gonna have to see how things go. We got two more picks left. Um, let's see here. I'm going to continue to stick with the 80 overall. We're going to go William Cabrera. Um, another relief pitcher. We're going relief pitcher heavy. We could, you know, have a stocked stacked built bullpen for the future um and then let's see like who we go with for our last pick you know what robin henderson it doesn't look too bad so again another bullpen pick i know you guys are gonna hate me for it but when you think about it we really just need helpful players so let's go see how this draft finished Alrighty, i'm gonna say our draft went phenomenal this might be one of the best drafts we've ever had we have a 94 potential second baseman in Benny Abe. He just looks very well-rounded already. Good fielding, good arm strength, um, decent hitting stats already at 20 years old, 72 overall, 94 potential. Maybe in a season or two, he's definitely pushing for that starting spot. So to start with, second baseman, we got one locked up. Um, it's looking like our pitching as well. Very solid. You know, Paul Lawrence, 68 overall, closer. Um, looks good. Looks amazing. You know, um, the per nines, a little low, you know, K per nines, hit per nines, very nice walks and home runs, little low controls, a little low as well, but he throws gas, you know, mid nineties on the fastball, 88 potential. Whew. I'm liking this one. Next closer, Mario Mosquera, 84 potential. So not as good, but still mid eighties potential player. Um, his per nines are a little bit better. I'm liking his pitch selection too. Ooh, we got some nice picks here. The next one, another reliever, Walter Nakajima. B potential or B or 63 overall, 85 potential. Um, per per nines are, you know, here and there, not too bad. Good velocity, good pitch selection. So far, what we have is looking really good. Patrick Holloway, a 66 overall starting pitcher. We got him later in the draft. 88 potential unreal his walks per nine and home runs per nine are a little low for my liking his stamina is a little low as well so i'm kind of hoping that develops goes a little bit higher if not he could be a solid long reliever in the bullpen and we have you know again he's got a good pitch selection our worst pick william cabrera 54 overall 76 potential that's still not horrible he's also a lefty so he definitely could be you know one of our lower rated bullpen arms for the future and then we have a 63 overall 81 potential reliever in robin henderson um good walks per nine good hits per nine um decent velocity i am stoked super excited with our our draft like i'm just this is a this is a solid draft for us this might be the best draft i've ever had i, I I'm, I'm just speechless at this point so let's get into this game against the uh the blue jays and let's keep this good effort rolling Already heading into this game, you guys can see we are top of the division in the central. Um, here are both of the lineups. Socrates, Brito, Galvis, Drury, Grichik, Tejas, Smoke, Hernandez, Guriel, and Maley. Um, I believe it is in the catcher spot for the Blue Jays. You guys could have seen our lineup. Not much has changed. So I feel like we're, we're doing pretty good with the way our lineup looks. Um, Toronto not having the best of years. So, uh, okay, so I'm assuming Vlad is still in the minors. So that's a little bit unfortunate to see. Maybe he'll be pulled up, you know, later in the season. But for right now, I feel like we're at a good point. You know, we're top of the division. You know, Aaron Sanchez is taking the mound for the Blue Jays. They're rocking their, their sweet red unis. I kind of like this. Um, we're rocking our throwback road ones um, i'm kind of psyched to see what they look like in game what i'm gonna do is you guys have been saying it's been a little bit too easy for us so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bump it up to legend uh 
for this game. Just a quick glance at our lineup once again. You guys can see Duda is our leader in home runs. Um, O'Hearn's a little quiet. Um, so he might be a player that we may have to find a new first baseman if things don't work out. He's hitting the ball very well. 338 on the year. I'm pretty sure that's league leading average. So, so far the second baseman's been doing well. And as I say that, I swing first pitch again. Not the best of innings in terms of being patient. And it's a four pitch inning. But we got a fastball up in the zone. And it's looking to be a fly out to center. Billy Hamilton's there. But all right. You know, we, we kind of fought back, got the out there. Looking at the Blue Jays lineup, you guys can see um, Drury is their on-base percentage leader. Uh, Justin Smoke's hitting the ball pretty poorly along with their catcher. So a, cu a couple players that maybe we can take advantage of. Freddie Galvis hitting 271. All right, he's going to hit it to third, first pitch. Should be the easy play for Dozier. We hit we, seven pitches so far this inning. Could be a quick one for us as well. All right, can we get the play here? Mondesi, 41 speed going down the line. He makes the throw over. Surprised there wasn't a collision at first, but hey, I'm going to take it a 1-2-3 inning. Let's see if we can strike first with the heart of our lineup coming up. And that might get down. It does in center. We do have our first base hit of the game. Lucas Duda. It looked like it was a little weak hit, but I'm going to take it. It's still a base runner for us. Yeah, not the best contact on it, but it still is a base runner. Let's see if O'Hearn can kind of break out of this slump he's facing. And it's not going to look like it. It looks like he got on top of it. 47 speed. Luckily, the second baseman bobbled it. So we still do have a base runner, but, you know, it's not not ideal situation. He threw me multiple change-ups. Just wasn't seeing it well. And we go down swinging. So we do have two outs. Hunter Dozier. Come on. Looks like it's going to be a fly out to center. We aren't able to take advantage of that leadoff single by Duda. And uh, unfortunately, just nothing pans out. All right, like I said, Justin Smoke hasn't been hitting the ball well this year. So let's keep it that way. O'Hearn makes the play. Steps on first. Another 1-2-3 inning. And uh, so far, through two. Pretty quiet game. All right, we have the left fielder, Alex Gordon, up. We need to get these bats going. Oh. Ooh, just early on it. All right, still 1-2. Let's see if Alex Gordon can get a base hit. And he swings at a ball in the dirt. And he throws it away. This is... Okay. I'm going to take that. Base runner. Maley throws it away. Okay. Base runner on for the second straight inning. Can Chris Owings get it started? 230 on the year. Come on. It's going to be a double play, isn't it? Uh, Alrighty, 0 2 to the catcher. We're going curveball. Get some swinging and another 1 2 3 inning for Duffy. And pitching is going well. Hitting, not so much. Little early on the changeup. Had us fooled. So now we're sitting 0 2. Come on, here we go. That looks like it's going to be a gapper. Poor jump by Teoscar Hernandez. Looks like it's going to be two for Wit. At least we're going to leave it at two. We have one out. Second baseman reaches with his 25th double of the year. And he's got a big lead on the entire team. He's just hitting the ball, seeing it so well. And even though we drafted that second baseman, it's not looking like we're going to need one for the, you know, for the few years at least with the way that Witt's playing. All righty, Duda, come on. Is that out? It's got a carry. It's got some carry on it. 
And against the wall, Burrito is going to make the play. He moves it over. You know, he moves over the runner. But he just missed that pitch. Let's see how just missed it. All right, so two outs. Can our first baseman, O'Hearn, deliver? Swings at, oh, bad pitch. Inning over. And Witt's double goes to waste. See the slider down and away gets him. Oh, hits the pitcher. Does Dozier? Dozier isn't going to be able to get the play. 91 speed is going to reach now. We're going to see if our pitcher is okay after taking a pitch to the chest. You know, if we get an injury here, we might be in a little bit of trouble. So it's looking like Duffy's going to be okay. 91 speed on first, so that's definitely dangerous. And let's just throw it to first, get the easy out, get the guaranteed out, the broken bat. Fielder's choice. All right, we gotta we gotta get the strikes here. Come on, change up down in the zone, fouls it off. One two count. Come on, let's get him with the curve here. Oh, get some look in. Brandon Drury goes down. And now we have two outs. Randall Gritchick. Definitely he's got a little bit pop a little bit of power on the bat. Can he make the play? Come on. Make the play. Oh, he does. Reaches out. Look at Salvi. Flashing the leather. Up against the dugout. And we get out of that jam. No run score. Hunter Dozier is going to hit it into left field. A single with one out. 74 speed on first. Maybe a gap shot scores. And we just we got to get the ball out there. Good first pitch swing. There we go. Sees the ball well. Finds that gap between third and short. We got Alex Gordon who just missed a home run. His first at bat. That looks like it's going to drop, and we might have first and third here. We definitely will. Probably could have sent Gordon to second, but to be safe, we have first and third with one out. Little inside-out hit. Maybe it was just late on the low fastball. Just somehow plucks it in the left field. and hit. All right, now we're in, we're in a good spot. We're threatening here in the top of the fifth. And that should bring the run home. The sack fly, 74 speed is more than enough to bring him home. There it is. He gets in. Chris Owens does his job perfectly, and we score the first run here in the fifth. It's been a quiet game. Bit of a pitcher's duel on legend. And uh, I tried to make it more difficult for me. Maybe we have to t touch the sliders or something. Obviously, we're playing the Blue Jays who are struggling, but... So far, it's been back and, you know, it's been pretty quiet. And he's going to foul it off. So, one, two count. We're going to go to the curveball. Haven't thrown one in a bit. And, oh, catches the corner. And that is the inning. Teoscar Hernandez goes down looking. And through five, we have a one-run lead. Doubled last time he was up. And will he get a base hit here? Great play at second base by Guriel to Rob. Oh, man. To Rob Witt. Oh, what a play. That is... That's a web gem right there. That's a that's a good... That's ESPN top 10 plays right there. Eh, maybe not. But, you know, still, that's a, that's a top play right there. That's a good play to get Rob us of a base hit. All right, Drury. 0 for 2 on the day. And he's going to get a base hit over Witt's head unless we we don't throw him out at first. I don't know. Can we challenge the play? That was a bang, bang play at first. We're not going to be able to challenge it. Ah. We almost got him. I feel like if the right fielder was a if Owens was a little less nonchalant. Let's take a look at that. Do, do we get him out? You know. Wit, not close, but Owens comes up, firing, and I just, just beats it out, it looks like. 
let's see. Yeah, it just beats the throw to first. So, man on. You know, the tying runs on and we just missed. We may have to get the bullpen warmed up. 41 speed on first. We're going to go with the curve. See if we get him chasing it. And we do the fifth strikeout for Danny Duffy. Rowdy Tejas up now. Got to be careful here. He's got a little, little bit of power. So, you know, any pitch can be dangerous. Fastball down and away. Hits the spot. 1-1 one, one now. Ooh, just missed on the changeup. So, 2-1. Probably Duffy's last inning. And he's starting to miss some spots. So I notice he is in the yellow zone for energy. And that's going to be a walk. So two men on, two outs. Do we... You know what? I feel like that might be it for Duffy, unfortunately. So a little mound visit to get the bullpen warmed up a little bit. And that's going to be Duffy's day. No, solid what? Six and two thirds? That's not bad at all. That definitely not a bad outing. Shut out ball. Just can't allow this run to come home. Just misses with the sinker. Jake Diekman's come in. Got gotta get this out. Gotta get this out. So 2-0 to start though. Not ideal. And he oh man, Justin Smoke was sitting fastball on 2-0. Luckily, it hangs up just enough to fly out to left field. That looks Gordon makes the play, and no run score. Ooh, ooh, it got a little dicey there. Alrighty, 1 0 count to Billy. Down the line, and it's going to go foul. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That would have been extra bases for sure with Billy's speed. Just laid on the two seam. So, 1 1 count now. And that actually, basically the same exact hit. We're going to try for two here. 97 speed, and he's going to get in a double for Billy Hamilton. Just what we needed. His 11th on the year. And uh, basically the same exact you know thing from the previous pitch. This time he keeps it fair, and there was no doubt about it. He was going two the entire way. Gets in ahead of the throw. And we have a one-out double. Alrighty, Mondesi, let's get you your hit for today. You need it. That'll at least move the runner over, and he's going to beat it out. Guriel, with his second error on the day, allows Mondesi on base. So, you know, just, just not the best fielding there. You know what? We're going to send... Mondesi try to get rid of this double play situation and oh yeah Mondesi's got that that might have actually been a good hit and run pitch for Merrifield up uh, hanging slider down the middle but Mondesi gets his 21st stolen base the double play is out they're gonna they're gonna intentionally walk Merrifield and I'm pretty sure it's Duda up next so we got some power up can we break this game open Lucas Duda, one for three on the day. Come on. You can do it. No double play. That's all we That's all I'm asking. No double play. Oh, Blue, I know you gave us a call earlier, but this isn't the time. Oh, man, to give them the calls. Lucas Duda is going to get the run home. I will take it. And it's going to move Mondesi over to third. So two sack flies. That's how we get our runs in. You know, hey, basically, you, you got to do, you got to take the runs when you can get them. Lucas Duda does his job. And a deep fly to center gets us that second run, that insurance run. So can O'Hearn add to it? That would be, that would be perfect. Give us a three run lead. Little hit and run action. Can we get a base hit here? Swinging at a ball, and the slider got him handcuffed. But that's all right. We do score a second run. We're going to let Diekman start this inning, see how it goes. Um, hopefully. 
Hopefully he can do something. But 2-0 to start the at-bat. Not ideal. Not ideal. 3-0 now. And um, yikes. Can we get a strike here? A four-pitch walk. So that that basically ends it for Diekman. Uh Just just missing on every account. And uh, I, can't, I can't be having that. We're going to bring in Bryce. Austin Bryce, he's been pretty good for us. A 178 ERA over 25 innings. This Marlins, uh, the player we acquired from the Marlins, I should say, has been doing very well for us. And does Owens have the speed to get to it? He does. And luckily, we tracked that one down for the first out of the inning. To chase it, though, so. That, uh, Billy Hamilton with the speed to make the play. And we have two outs. Ooh. Man. Change up down in the zone. Fouls it off as well. Oh, man. Curveball. And there we go. We get out of it after the leadoff walk. Bryce comes in, shuts the door in the eighth. Heading into the ninth, two run lead. Come on. We, we we need one more just to be safe. And that is going fair. 18 speed. We're going to keep it at a single. Just barely kept it within those lines. And I'm going to take it. Hey, it's, it's a good hit. I mean, it's actually not. It's a pretty bad hit. He was late on it. He was jammed. I mean, that, that had to have hit the line. There's no other... No other way that stays like there, there, it was just a bad hit. That's that's basically what it comes down to. Dozier's two for three on the day, so I don't want to say Dozier get us started because Salvi's got us started. But come on, that's gonna be a double play for sure. 74 speed isn't gonna beat it out, and uh, after that Perez, after that Perez base hit, it's all squandered. And let's see how it is. So far, he's doing quite well. 27 saves, 2.73 ERA. Over 29 innings, he has 37 strikeouts. So, been striking out quite a few batters. So, let's see how he does today. Good fastball to start the at bat against Galvis. Change up, catches the inside part of the zone. All right. Slider inside, ooh, just gets his hands to it. Ooh, there we go. Fastball just blows it by him. Freddie Galvis goes down swinging. Two outs left. Ooh, the changeup just missed. We're going to go slider down and away. Just kidding, down and inside. He chases it anyways. Brandon Drury goes down. And one out. One more out this game. Randall Grichik's the Blue Jays' last hope. Good fastball. All right. Okay. Okay. 0-2. It is down to the last pitch. Boxberger slider down and away. Hits it to the second baseman. Whit Merrifield makes the play. And that is the ball game here in Toronto. The Kansas City Royals win 2 to nothing. And I, hey, that, it, it wasn't a pretty win. We won by two sack flies, but I will take it. This episode was actually pretty good. You know, a solid win. You know, it wasn't the prettiest, like I said. It wasn't, you know, we didn't get any home runs or anything. But we, ha we had a 2-0 a two, a two -oh, two -oh win. You know, we had to shut out again. I'm trying to make it more difficult. That's why I went to Legend on pitching and hitting but uh i guess the cpu just couldn't just i guess my pitching is just too good um maybe we start to play more difficult opponents um uh, consistently so that's there's that um and also our draft was amazing so let's finish out the month see how things go and uh, i'll catch you guys in a sec so heading into july you guys can see um we have a half game lead over the indians so it's a great like this is this is good you know heading into the you know almost you know basically we're going into the all-star break at this point you know we got a week left 
Uh, we also have a series against the Indians, so this is definitely a good point where we that we could, you know, we get a couple wins under our belt. You know, we take this series against the Indians. I feel like we'll be in a good spot. So again, guys, make sure you go and vote in that poll on the YouTube video. Click that little eye icon in the top right hand corner. Let me know what you guys think about a minor league episode. Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it wasn't the prettiest of wins, but I feel like with the way the draft turned out, things went really, really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you were new and enjoy the content. And as always, leave a comment down below. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.